Hi folks, this is Jake. We're looking at this book uh, by our Essays in Honor of Dick Lucas and we're thinking about the sufficiency of scripture and preaching. The writer says, What then are the implications of the doctrine of the sufficiency of scripture and the belief of scripture will affect the purpose of which it is written by God? First, the Bible contains its own message of the gospel. And thus the best form of evangelism is the preaching and teaching of the Bible. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name, John 20, 31. Secondly, the result of preaching and teaching the Bible will be the edification of God's people and their equipment for every good work. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17 Congregations will be not only brought to maturity in faith, but also equipped for the effective Christian ministry through the teaching and preaching of the Bible. So the benefits of believing in the sufficiency of Scripture is you begin to teach the Gospel the way God wants it to be taught, and it also is the way that God wants to equip His people. So you're doing two things. You're preaching the way God wants you to preach, and teach and also you're equipping the people of God in the right way for ministry.